welcome back to Mubbard's World. Welcome back. Tighten your assholes for some Destruction Derby 64. <laughs> oh my Tighten God. Tighten them only your for voice. them to be loosened later. Destruction Derby 64. What a what a game. So many memories of never playing it before. <laughs> but Kevin but has Kevin, had so, Kevin has this plenty. This game was the shit bomb back in second grade So I'm so. looking for one so of the best gaming multiplayer. experiences of my life right, right now. Um, if you're not familiar with a Destruction Derby, it's, uh, you just get in cars and you smash other cars until they're dead. The shitty thing is- America! You don't have the cool cars unlocked like this well, one. Well, we just got the game at some retro store, so. This one's an ambulance. You could have been the ambulance. Amber lamps! The thing never blows up, but, um, I'm gonna be old. Old red, white, and blue. Uh, I'm player one. Player. Kevin's player two. Rachel's player three. Player I have a green car. Player four is nobody. My car is green. We don't have rumble packs, but that would be incredible. Blue plus yellow Welcome makes green. It'd be so real. What if like the rumble Welcome packs like to the cured somebody's yeah. arthritis because it like shook their hands? And, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that and, ever happened. And gave, <laughs> gave birth. The rumble to their pack and the, the three prong controller cured my loneliness though. Whoa! Because you put it in your cooter. So wait, what, <laughs> what are we doing here? Explain We're smashing this. cars! All right. So Basically, you smash the shit out of other... other uh, I can't talk right now. You smash other cars... For points. For points. And whoever has the most points, when everybody's completely destructed, except one person, wins. So you want to get a lot of points, and you can see your place... So, uh, who's, who's player three? Is that Kevin? Rachel? That's, that's Rachel's still in, me. Rachel's place two right now, which is pretty amazing. And Kevin, who played this game a lot as a child, <laughs> is falling behind everybody well, else. Well, I'm very conservative, because I like keeping my life bar up high. Yeah. I like to drive Fuck backwards, I drive as I'm doing right now. I think my controller's broken, and it's <laughs> only going one direction. How do you cause destruction and be conservative? Like, those two things don't mm. seem like they go hand in hand. Destruction So tell derby. me what the benefit is of keeping your life bar high and not hitting someone with your car. Like, when your life bar gets low, you blow up and you're done. Well, right, no, but, you but can be to the get guy. points to become first place, you have to hit people. But you can be the guy who still has all his life and then all the other guys are on their last bar Look, and you I'm, hit them and you get 20 points for a kill. I'm chasing this guy around. Mm -hmm. He and I are just going along the edges. Oh, I totally beat the shit out of him. And but I you can't really tell where first. everyone's health is at either. Well, they start smoking. Yeah, you can see, like, they, they start to smoke, and then eventually, after the smoke, they blow up. Black smoke is, like, you know... Whoa, let's dead. not get racist. <laughs> but seriously, black smoke is bad. <laughs> if you see that, it's... Secondhand black smoke, instant, <laughs> instant cancer. <laughs> White smoke means new coke. <laughs> Oh man, I am channeling my southern influence right now. Channeling my sexuality into this Nintendo 64 controller. It's like three dongs. If you like <laughs> a destruction derby, you might like. You might be a redneck. <laughs> you might like Jeff Fox. If you here. oppose gay marriage laws, <laughs> <laughs> you might be an asshole. Because <laughs> seriously, who fucking cares? Yes, 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 you see that? I just got 20 points for a kill, I'm at first place! Cool. Cause I can serve. Um, have you ever been to a real oh, Destruction Derby? Uh, no, I live in a civilized seat. I, I went to one in the mountains nice. when I was up there once, and um, I was expecting this really cool, like, cars, you know, going fast and ramming the shit out of each other, but it's really lame. Like a big mass, massive clusterfuck. Yeah, but it's just like cars going very slow, and then eventually, they don't blow up, they just like die and they stop moving. The cars die? Yeah, so it's just so like- So wait, you were hoping for people to blow up and die? Well, I wasn't hoping for people to blow up and die, I was just hoping to see some like, you know, like, like, player two right now is in a ball of flames. And player three, who just ran me and I won somehow. And damn, what? I'm doing so good. <laughs> he gave you the points! But like, it's not like that, it's just a car stalls out and, all right, we're done. You know, like, it's really disappointing. I can't believe I won. And and they're not going like 60 miles an hour. Like, yeah, that, yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah, they're they going were. like five. One, two, three, finish. Hey, good job, guys. No, it's actually one, three, two. <laughs> Suck it, Kevin. Wow, didn't you have this game when you were a kid? <laughs> That's embarrassing. The N64 had all the best uh, racing games. Let's do it again. If you consider this racing. But like, um, Cruisin' World 
cruising. Oh, USA. dude, the cruising games were awesome. Yeah, those are real good. I mean, those were arcade games, but um, what else? They had Top Gear Overdrive. Mario and could- Kart. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Warrior Welcome cheated like a son judge. of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. In Top Gear Overdrive, you could be like a hot dog or a pickle. It was awesome. One, or the N64 logo. <laughs> that game was Why'd they go a Rodney King Derby of Derby of Destruction! Rodney King of Queens? Rodney King of Destruction. <laughs> Rodney King of Los Angeles. Wow. What? That'll start a Destruction Derby. <laughs> Whatever, everyone watches his channel is not old enough to remember that. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. See? Yeah. I'm just thinking about King of Queens and that hilarious Kevin James. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, is he really though? <laughs> is he really and that funny? Is What's he just name? a big guy that tries to be funny? Is what? he just like a Chris Farley, but not nearly as funny? <laughs> <laughs> Without the drug overdose. <laughs> Chris Farley would have been 51? 55. 55. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're good. 55. Man, that old bag. Um, did you know that Chris Farley was originally going to be Shrek? Oh, yeah. And he that. actually, like, did all his lines, but then he died, so they had to get Mike Myers. Cause... <laughs> so they really were just like, all right, who else in the SNL pool can we choose? Yeah, but... Um... I not... think Chris Farley would have been an okay Shrek? Well, not too far back. They actually, like, released some very basic... Like Chris Farley reading his lines and then some rough animation, and it was a very different vibe to the whole Shrek thing. Right. Like it was much more laid back and like. I don't think Shrek. You think Mike Myers took his job of being the voice almost, of the you, Green Guy? You almost seriously? felt a little bad for Chris Farley because I think he was trying to like that was his like serious moment. Like he was trying to be a little more somber than his usual. Oh, I'm a fat guy who falls over all the time, you know. No, but you I, know when he was playing Shrek. I think the sound of Mike Myers' voice is a little more lovable. But like Chris Farley's voice is very hard. I mean, it fits an ogre, but the point was Jesus. to fall in love with this ogre. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you ever see So I Married Fuck. an Axe Murderer? Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that movie's awesome. Shit! Mike oh, Myers I killed him. Like How did I do that? Eddie Murphy in that movie because he plays everyone, and he plays uh, like an old Irish guy. Funny. Damn, this one is not gonna be good. Did he play the white Jewish guy in Coming to America? In the barbershop? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I don't remember that movie I don't recall well him enough. being in that, but I don't know. It's been a real long time. Eddie Murphy? Oh, well, I thought you meant Mike Myers. No, Eddie Murphy. Uh, uh, possible, I don't know. Oh, double finish! <laughs> Did we simultaneously explain? Oh, I love when we finish at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's race again. Hey, I finished on top again. That sucked. Wow, way to go, What Kevin. else is new, Andrew? <laughs> but seriously. Um, I wish there were different maps we could play. <laughs> Capture the flag is... Uh, One more time. Capture the flag is kind of stupid. It's exactly what it sounds like. You <laughs> capture a flag? Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least they're throwing any curveballs, so you have to learn something new. Yeah. Welcome to the junkyard. Welcome to the junkyard. Welcome. Show us your titties. <laughs> How come player three can't get? Can't get it up. <laughs> can't get the full bottom half. Like that's what they do on uh, Call of Duty. That's cheap. I saw my first pair of boobs at a NASCAR race. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> first pair even with a shirt on. Was it man boob or woman <laughs> boob? <laughs> it was it was young. Because I imagine you'd get a bit of both. It was young woman boob. Nice. A bunch of old guys told her that uh, they'd throw her a beer if she took her white shirt off. That's uh. That's good to know those. I'm pretty sure that's how Chris Hansen shows up one day and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Do you know why you're here?" Like the I'm a pervert. No, the guy who uh, the, the, the catch a predator <laughs> guy. <laughs> but Mop, it's probably the same handsome kids boobies. too. <laughs> Give it all back to sing the song. Sing the song. Show the nips. Oh, well, wow. I don't care if they're guys. I still think they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> all that fucking trickery. Yeah, what we do is probably masturbated to Hanson. 
And then they were like, oh god, what have I done? Kevin's a little bit quiet because he's like, oh, I did that. <laughs> My car's a little messed up. It's like got no hood. What right I now. do on Saturdays is none of your business. <laughs> What I do in the privacy of my bedroom in my mom's house is none of your business. Yeah, but seriously. What I do in the privacy of the public is none of your business. <laughs> what I do in a New York City subway. <laughs> Don't act like you've never seen it before. What I did on that bus with that robot. <laughs> what I did with that woman. I gotta say, the New York City subway is a glorious place. Have you taken? You see some shit, and it's awesome. Really? I have a friend that lives in New York, and I'd rather uh, walk. I, well, I have two friends that live in New York, and they oh, uh, really, really periodically uh, post stuff they see around the city or in the subway to Facebook. It's fucking amazing, and it makes me wonder how the fuck do I not live in New York? Oh God, there's some, there. You've seen some shit if you live up there. <laughs> One less douchebag. Holy shit! There's so much fire on the screen. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Grave digger. You know on the highways when they like advertise food places that are near and they always put Subway? Or like... But they put three Subway logos subway, on subway, there? Subway, Subway, Because I guess they were like, oh, our logo is kind of small, so let's just put Subway three times. <laughs> it's just like that. Subway, Subway, Subway. That Jared. <laughs> He's the death match. He's been talking to 15 year olds again. They did find they did find suspicious cell phone texts. Really? Uh, yeah. Follow up. Yeah, that's that's it. They found. Quit distracting me. You paid a 15 year old for sex or something. Killing all the dreams he's had about Jared. It's like on oh. that uh, on that sub. All the wet dreams. I don't know if you know, but I'm that subway guy. Kevin, stop sitting in the sideline waiting for other people to do stuff. I'm doing shit. I'm in the first place. No, you're not. You're in third. I'm in the first place. I'm, I'm the red, white, and blue car. I'm there in the first place. Third. Now, now, come on down. Now, simmer down. Coming on in now. Go. I'm another bravo coming in now. Here now. Go, go. That's how go. truckers talk. I want to be a trucker just to get one of those. CB radios. Oh man, that'd be glorious. My name's Mr. Trucker and I got CB radio. I got some truck notes on the back of my car now. <laughs> if you wanna come on down now, watch out for the white car here coming in now. <laughs> He's coming in high now, it's a little fast now, but have you ever seen uh Smoking the Bandit? Um I don't know. That's a that's a good movie with C B radios. C B radio. Snowman Alright Rachel, forget, let I me forget, distract uh, you. I forget uh What's his name? Oh, son of a bitch. Burt Re Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, you old son of a bitch. Oh. Small cop. Paul Blart. Bang. <laughs> Hold on, don't hit me, I have an itch. Oh god, my nose is really itchy. Oh god, I'm I out of control. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. <laughs> where am I? It's just you toes. Rachel, come hit me and maybe you can beat Kevin. No. Come hit me in the back. No, you can't. Andrew, you went it in the back really hard. Uh, <laughs> you oh, missed. you dirty Son of a bitch. Your mother was a whore. That's a little uncomfortable to talk about. Why? Because I was born out of wedlock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you <a> bastard. <laughs> you bastard, Jon Snow. Come hit me, goddamn. Well, well stop moving. There you go. When I was a kid, I used to jump off that little rampy section and just fucking have a ball. Oh, in the I game. I was so innocent. I was yeah. like, IRL? That's weird. Hey, you did it, Kevin. Good job. LOL, ASL. Now, hey! Next time on Moments World, uh, more car destructing action. It was very intense and exciting. It was totally intense. It was like enthralling. It's like the most lifelike game I think I've ever played right here. I feel <laughs> like I never lived until this very moment. My adrenaline has been pumped. <laughs> I am super excited to play and more. And drained out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah, but Rachel got 100 kill points. That means she killed five people. Damn, girl. I did. You're a ravenous murderer.